Hello, Division 4. So this is um, our work today in math and um, what it is on page 129 and 130. Uh, this is kind of showing us how multiplication and division are actually related, uh, kind of like how subtraction and addition are, and that uh, it's kind of one way goes the other, and how they are um, complementary to each other. So in the sense here that we can see the uh, 3 times 6 is equal to 18, 6 times 3 is 18, so we already know that, the commutative pro property. Um, and then we have 18 divided by 6 equals 3, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So you can almost start to see, once you know your time table so well, you can you see two numbers and bang, you can almost see it. Um, this picture, unfortunately, isn't a very good picture because it has it's a four groups of six. So what we want to do is probably just get rid of this there. So we have our 18 spaces here. So it's one. So we have our 3 by 6, which gives us our 18. And so where you have your 18 squares divided by 6 gives you 3. 18 divided by 3, of course, gives you 6. 6 times 3 gives you the 18. And of course, the 3 times 6 times 3 is the 18. So that's all this is basically showing you. And the first one is done for us, um, where it's 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 4. And like I said, a lot of you are doing so well with your times tables. You're looking at this and you're like, oh, okay, I can see this. So just like the 7 times 2 is 14. Of course, we're going to use the commutative property. And the commutative property is that when you, if you know that 7 times 2 is 14, you automatically know that 2 times 7. So in a sense, half the time tables are done for us because if you just say you don't know your 6 time tables, but you know that 6 times, that 5 times 6 is 30, well, all of a sudden now you know that 6 times 5 is 30, you've already um, eliminated one of your 6 times tables that you might have been struggling with. And so you can just go ahead and fill these in. Now, the last two would be division, so you always start with the biggest number, okay? And that's something to remember. Always start... Because how you read this is 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So if I was to do uh, and write something like this, 2 divided by 14 equals 7, you'd be getting into decimals, and, and it's a whole other um, uh, field of math that we're not going to touch right now. So when you divide, it has to start with the larger number, and then the, the number that you're changing, of course, is the divisor for the dividend. Okay, to get the quotient. Now, um, so you continue on with that, and it's pretty straightforward. This one might be tricky, and for those who are looking for the extension, you'll see why that one's a tricky one. Now, here's a fact family here, and so you've got the three numbers now, and basically you have to write the four statements. So obviously, the division ones will start with the 35, and then, of course, the other would be, so we'll do the first one together. And of course, this one would never be 35 divided by something, which will give you something. All right. Now on page 130, um, they're basically just showing you the connection between multiplication and division. And basically what they're saying is, well, three times what you think, three times what is 15. That's in your head. And that's what I'm saying. Like if you've been practicing your time table, so you're just like, wham, bam, bam, bam. And the fence that so you see 42 and you see a seven, you know it's six, and you're just that fast. If you're not quite there, that's okay, okay. And it's a matter of just practice, uh, and it is repetition. But you only you can do that, right? Even at school, you know, we can do it to a degree. But this is where you've got to, you know, take the time and spend, you know, 20 minutes a day, you know, just recite, just maybe just pick one of the time tables that you're you're treating. There's a lot of you who are really quite strong with them, so this is really a good review for you. So it's just a matter of what we think of. Of course, I know that three fives equal 15. And in the back of my head, I'm also going, oh, yeah, five groups of three also equals 15. So that's right. There's my commutative property. And then you just work your way all the way down. And of course, here they have the top number of the circle is a product of the factors below, right? The factors, of course. And once again, you, you know that seven times what is 35. And they're just showing that's how division works. Division is just going one way and coming back the other way with multiplication. All right. Until next time.